it's me. We're in a hotel. El Royale. I'm with M. See you again soon. Howdy. Rose, what did you do? Which side are you on? Right, wrong, God or no God, red or black. I've done horrible things. So everybody. Shit happens. Get the whiskey. Well, I have to say, you three were fantastic. This is such a fun, you know, creative and very, uh, I, I don't know, very fun to, to watch. And um, I, my first question is Dakota and Kaylee. What was it like working with Chris Hemsworth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. hmm. Well, <laughs> no, John, you can't stay. <laughs> um, he didn't come in until probably in the middle of filming. Mm -hmm. Um, first day we met, we, uh, I shook his hand, said hello, talked about small talk, how's wife, how's the kids, and then we started doing, and then he was like touching my face, and then, yeah, that and was the first day. got into the character right away. Right away. So, yeah. <laughs> but he was super kind, super sweet, professional, um, but yeah, that was, that was a good segue right into Chris Hemsworth. Interesting. Did you have that same experience? Um, Chris didn't touch my face, but um, I really think he's so wonderful. <laughs> I mean, um, and <laughs> I felt really distracted when he, the first day he was on set, because he didn't button his shirt up, and um, I just didn't think that that was a very smart idea because it is such a crazy thing to look at. His body is really out of control. <laughs> Very distractive, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it made me laugh so much. <laughs> like, so much. Which is horrible because we were doing the most... The most intense it's scene where you're like tied... I'm tied to a chair and like crying and with a black eye and... And I just... <laughs> Lewis and I couldn't stop laughing because it was out... It was really out of control. But he is such a great actor mm. and such a funny person. And John, you seem very natural in playing an FBI agent, pretending to be a vacuum salesman. So I'm curious, do you have any sort of uh, sales um, experience pre prior to your pre-acting? Uh, mostly, um, no. Uh, but mostly it comes from just being near Chris Hemsworth's body. <laughs> that is where I got most of my inspiration. <laughs> oh, come on, John. <laughs> Share any scenes with Chris Hemsworth? Didn't I? I. Mm. I <laughs> oh my God. So, so now I, I. Well, because your character, you know, it's it's very. Um, I, I would say it's kind of. I, I don't want to use the word unusual, but the first thing you got to the hotel and they kind of butt head with your character on some level, mm -hmm. um, and then you you know later on you find out the mm -hmm. work that he's doing. What was that phone call about when he called his family like? Prayer, well, that's kind of you know obviously that's kind of the reveal of, yeah. of who this person is. You yeah. know, you've you've seen however many minutes of him being this very flamboyant salesman, yeah. and, and that's how you're introduced to him. So you yeah. think, okay, that's this person, and then there's this radical kind of shift happens when he's speaking to his daughter on the phone, and, and you're like, wait, he's not who I thought he was. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, Dakota is saying what we're all thinking, um, which is that you know. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so yeah. So that's that's the reveal, and it's I don't know. It's you know I, what what's really remarkable about the film. What's really special about the film, I think, is that it's left a little bit uh, vague and opaque. Uh, we don't necessarily know like who Lewis is getting you know in, information from, who he's taking orders from. We don't necessarily know who. It's, it's suggested that I'm play, you know I'm reporting to Jagger Hoover, but it's not specifically drawn out. So there's a lot of like questions that aren't spelled out for you yeah. as an audience member you can just kind of fill in the blanks and just like go along for the ride and enjoy the story yeah really fun to watch great job everyone thank, thank you. you i enjoyed the entire time so the el royale is a bi-state establishment you have the option to choose a room in either california or nevada what are you doing out here i got a job singing in reno tomorrow don't pay nothing but uh singing singing <laughs> this is not a place for a priest father 
You shouldn't be here. Your first time at the El Royale? Howdy. You watch me? I only watch who they tell me to watch. Who's they? Management. Did you think you could just take what's mine and I wouldn't come home? It all starts with a simple choice. Would you mind opening up the door? No, I ain't gonna do that. Which side are you on? Right, wrong, God or no God? Or just pick. I'm not really a priest. Yeah.